Hello everyone, we are back with our revamping our old creation series. Um, last one, I did some building off camera because I, I just wasn't sure where I wanted to take this next. Um, and like in terms of the improvements I was giving it. So I just decided to uh, go off camera and wing it. So I changed the front, like the design of the front bow here. So like it's it's got uh, a higher railing now. I figured this just looks better having just one block. The ends are now more curved. The ladder looks better. I also merged the button panel into the wall here. Um, I also added this, I also revamped this ladder and ended it on both sides now. And um, if we come back, I also labeled these buttons and um, yeah, the lights can turn on. That was already done. I added more lights and changed the positions of some, like the ones that were on the wall here are now on the ceiling. So I just thought they looked really weird on the wall. I'll probably add some more over here. This area is kind of dark. Um, you come down here and there's a new walkway. I just thought the beginning of the video I had a new walkway. So you can walk around here. Um, it's not very much, but I figured I might as well have it just so it looks somewhat professional. And then of course there's a passageway that cuts through the fuel tank and comes out here by the engines. I have to build like uh, a second passageway through here so you can actually go around. But I figured I'd cut through the fuel tank because there's, I can't exactly go around it. Um, and that works. You can see where it's in, it's in the fuel tank. This is the fuel tank. I don't think it's pro I cannot something. You probably shouldn't put like something that requires electricity or like so close to a, such a big thing of gasoline. <laughs> um, so don't, yeah, just don't try this at home in real life. But um, that's what we're doing here. I also hooked up some electricity as well. So I'm thinking we continue based on this because I just, need, I just wasn't sure where I was going, where I wanted to go with this. So I figured I'd just wing it and do some off camera. So let's continue. I think we want to continue our passageway that goes through here because this is going to be a, like. We're gonna need access to here, right? So we can actually repair and maintenance this type of stuff. Maintenancing is kind of important. All right, so that's that, let, we're just gonna let's now uh, we got that. Let's plate all this. Replace this with pipes so it looks better because that's what we did in the other room as well. Now what we're just gonna do is in that off there. All right, and uh, then we'll put one. Like, where, how high is this? It's like. It's like right, yeah, it's like right there. Okay, we'll do that. And we'll drag that in as well. Um, it's gonna cut through the piping, but that's fine. This pipe, these pipes go nowhere anyways. So we'll just put a pipe angle enclosure. Nope, we don't want that. Um, an angle corner, I guess? Pipe angle corner, yes. No. Um, we need a version of the T piece. Pipe T piece corner. There we go. Put that in there. Paint that orange because that's part of the power. Well, actually, we don't even need to do that. What well, we can just do is we can make this shorter. Let's just fix that. We will just um, bring this like so. Bring that up. There we go. That's where we don't have to cut through that at all. Uh, well, we need to change the paint. Okay, there we go. So that's that. We could probably just bring this down entirely if we wanted to. Save some space. But um, let's make it cleaner which i might do i might clean this up later but for now it's just fine it doesn't need to be changed you can get rid of this no longer need it um okay so that's that's that pretty much finished what i want to do now though is get, like get some equipment in here so let's just um grab site like delete some stuff there and we're just gonna grab some welding torches. We're just gonna put these white because we don't want to paint these any color. Um, and we're just gonna stick a bunch of welding torches. <laughs> um, I, I I'm not very creative with these organizations, so this is what I do in most of my builds. I just slap equipment down. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll alternate um, between welding torches and fire extinguishers. Um, so we'll get some fire extinguishers now and slap them in here. We don't need underwater welding torches down here. I mean, we might, but like, when? Like, when are we gonna need these? Like, when, 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 are, we gonna, when are we gonna need underwater welding torches? Probably not very often because by the chances are, by the time this thing's like 
got water in the bottom, it's probably, like I got, by the time this section's got water in it, it's probably already sunk. So you're gonna be probably going in here like with, with equipment anyways. Um, see so yeah, what we'll just do here is we'll get our underwater, where's the underwater welding torch? Um, let's just make sure that's, might have to, hold on, let's, let's get this figured out. Just so that it looks more decent. Alright, and then we'll just do this. So, there's some in here for if we need them. But since we probably won't, we're just gonna not put a whole lot in here. It's gonna be a little off-center, but that's fine. So that's that equipment, so if we ever need it, it's there. Um, so now what we're gonna do, we need, like, fire suits and stuff like that. So I'm thinking... Well, actually, let's just round this off real quick. Can't, never mind. Um... Let's just get some equipment, like, like outfits, pardon me. I have an outfit. Alright, so it doesn't, we don't need, well, I mean, we can get some, like, Arctic gear. This stuff, though, will be just, like, like, right around here by the door, because this isn't, you're not, like, this is stuff you might have to equip any time. Adak is going to be needing to go to a special place to get it. Um, right. And then, don't need, don't need any, like, armor or anything like that. We have diving equipment out here, which is good that we don't need any more of that. Firefighter's equipment is probably going to be what we need down here. So let's just those down here. Firefighting outfits. Um, yeah, firefighting outfits. So that way, if we ever need these, we can get them. There we go. So we got those in there now. Oh, this is probably where we can probably split. Okay, let's come back to that. Firefighter, hazmat. We shouldn't... I mean, space exploration, but we don't, we're not going to be going to space with this. Unless some really weird bug happens, we're not going to be going to space with this. So I don't think we have to worry about that. Um, so that, let's go out just and go up to a, back to equipment. Um, we can probably stick... Let's stick some first aid kits under these, because... Well... Now that, that would more belong in the med bay, would it not? Um, that's my controller. Um, we have a fire extinguisher in here for some reason. I don't know why. Um, yeah, that's just for maintenance, so I guess we'll put that stuff in later. Um, we can put in, a, like, a flashlight. No, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Flashlight under, like, each one of these. Paint the lights later, don't worry. <laughs> Painting flashlights. Um, okay, so, and then we'll, we'll grab some. Don't need a hand grenade. <laughs> um, we'll grab an oxygen mask as well. And that's an oxygen mask. Don't need pistols. Not gonna need radiation on here. Okay, I think that's all we need. Um, let's just go over here again. Oh, yeah, definitely a radio so you can contact other people if you get stuck or something. I'm gonna uh, paint these blue. Just so you can easily recognize them as part of the ship if you catch them dropped. Um, and then for here, this is just gonna be like, what's what's the maintenance? I'm assuming it'd be yellow for maintenance, so we're just gonna paint these I th yellow, like, because it's yellow, I think it's like the construction color, or the color of construction. We can also paint um, some of these pipes, but actually, we're not gonna use that color. We're gonna make so we're not gonna paint those just yet. I don't really wanna paint any block from this vehicle until we get further along. What is this for? This is for fuel, right? So we're gonna paint this just a dark red, like so. That also goes, those constant on signals, what do they get to? Release connector, that should be off. So it's always saying to release, so we need to shut that off. Um, cause that shouldn't be on in the first place. We're just gonna grab a new one, paint it a dark red and it's gonna go right here as well well actually we don't even need these we got the microcontrollers in the microcontroller room right that'll do just nicely this way we have less logic we need to repair and less logic to manage in general what do these go to are these like bilge pumps these might be bilge pumps let's um what we'll, we'll hook these up um we will hook those up we don't there's barely <laughs> You know what, there's just like one, um, so I'm not even sure if it's 
worth it to hook him up, but what we'll just do is we'll grab them and hook them up anyways. Copy, um, paste, and, and we'll paste, just paste these over and over again until I feel we have enough, because these are going to be necessary whether we want them in here or not. And the whole reason why I hated and never actually hooked up boat pumps or anything that could um, come out from the ocean was because it took so long to like hook up these bilge pumps and it was just a huge pain <laughs> to, to do that so wasn't the greatest experience to do um, I, I'm trying to get everything perfectly symmetrical for some reason I have no idea why that's something I do um, all right, we'll, we'll leave with that. If we need more, we can always add more. Um, merge that on all sides real quick. There we go. I think we need a threshold gate to hook this up. So, so, okay. We're gonna um, stick this in here to no symmetry. And we're gonna get also a fluid sensor or meter, meter, okay. Um, fluid, not spawner. Fluid, um, where, I can never find the fluid meter, super annoying, um, don't need a physics flutter, why is fluid, did they remove the fluid meter, maybe, maybe I'm just blind, um, let's, let's go back and just grab it from, oh, they named, they changed it to liquid meter, oh my goodness, um, that's very annoying. They changed it to liquid meter. So if you guys are looking for for that component and can't find it, it's because they changed the name to liquid meter. Don't know if that's a new change or not. Anyways, we're going to hook this up and it's going to go into the the value to test. So if the if it's between 0 and I have no idea what the values for this are. I'd say 5 between 0 and 5. That'll activate the bilge pump, so that it, so that'll activate the bilge pumps. So if it's if so if there's no water and five something of water, these things will turn on. I have no idea what the transmission is for this game. I, um, we're just gonna stick with that, and then we're also gonna turn like like it leads up to electricity. This is gonna be hooked up to base electricity, so because we want these to always be active, so that even if the power's off, like say we're flooding and we're like a dog, we don't we don't know we're flooding, but we're a dog, we got the circuit breaker turned off, we can still pump out that water, because that can still save the ship. And yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. So yeah, bye.